Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video I want to cover our tissue membranes. So let's first of all let's define what a membrane is. A membrane is a layer of epithelial tissue with an underlying layer of connective tissue. So there are four tissue membranes that make up uh, that, that, that are in the human body. We have mucous membranes, serous membranes, cutaneous membrane, which is a fancy way of naming your skin, and the synovial membranes. So the mucous membranes, so just simply look at mucous membranes are going to line cavities that are exposed to the outside environment. So they're going to be they're going to be lined with epi, epithelial cells and they're going to churn out mucus. Serous membranes are going to line the cavities that are inside your body that don't aren't exposed to the exterior. These would be your ventral body cavities like your uh, pericardial cavity, peritoneal cavity, and your, and your pleural cavity. The cutaneous membrane, like I already mentioned, is your skin. That's going to be the epithelial cells of your epidermis plus the underlying dermis. We'll cover that in much more detail later. Then your synovial membranes, they're going to line your synovial joints. So these are going to be most of your large complex joints will be synovial joints. So let me just quickly show you an example of each one, but we'll, we'll dive into them more when they matter later. Uh, we're just talking about them from a basic histological standpoint at this point. So here we see a mucous uh, membrane. So we have the epithelial cells, and the key thing there is the goblet cells. So goblet cells are going to produce the mucus that are going to coat the outside of this mucous membrane. That mucus is going to have um, secretory IgA antibodies. Mucus itself is going to slow microbial growth so it's, or, and slow their movement. So it's, it's a, it's very, it keeps our passageways lubricated and moistened, but also plays a role in keeping out uh, pathogens, hopefully. So that is a mucous membrane. Um, here we see one of your serous membranes. So the biggest difference is mucus is a real is a thick sticky secretion serous uh, membranes are full of serous fluid which is very watery so here we see the actual pericardial cavity so i covered the ventral body cavities in a separate video um, here we see the cutaneous membrane, your skin, the epidermis with the underlying dermis and hypodermis, also known as the subcutaneous layer. And then lastly, here's a typical example of a synovial joint full with synovial membranes that produces synovial fluid. So you keep hearing synovial. So this is going to be anywhere two of your long bones come together. This is probably going to be like between your fingers or toes or something. So, um, so that would be a synovial membrane. All right, so those, let's go back to the beginning real quickly. Those are your four membrane types, mucous membranes that line cavities exposed to the exterior, serous membranes that line cavities that are not exposed to the ex exterior, the cutaneous membrane, which is your skin, and then your synovial membranes, which lines your synovial joints inside your body. All right, those are your membranes. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.